For some reason, you're unwilling to answer any questions. So, Siraj, 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 since you're here, don't just run away, Siraj. Siraj, from what I understand, there's this understanding that people have when they say that Allah is the Lord of heaven. And my man disappears in Siraj. Now, you all sent to the women have to become prostitutes. This is Sayyidah. I know that each one is a prostitute. If you become a prostitute, then she can go to heaven before others. It says that Allah no more than prostitution. Prostitution. He told them that there were less people or less enemies than he was going to fight. And actually, when Muhammad went to go and fight the enemies, they were actually more in number. But the reason that Allah does this is because he claims that if he had told Muhammad the actual number, then Muhammad and the believers would have been disheartened. So are you telling me that in that same surah, before it calls Allah a deceiver, Allah deceives Muhammad? Oh, really? All right. Well, Siraj, uh, see you later, I. Okay. Um, interesting question. So, in Surah 8, I think it's Ayah 40, I could be wrong. It talks about this thing involving Allah being a deceiver, right, in the Arabic words. Now, apparently, the, uh, the word used for deceiver has a high lexical variability. It can also mean planner. So the Da'is of today prefer to use the term planner, that, uh, that they plan, but Allah is the best of the planners. So, um, what my contention with this now is in that same surah, in surah 817 in fact, we get this very interesting ayah. The ayah goes something to the effect of Muhammad had a dream, a dream from Allah. So uh, in, the, in the sunnah, all good dreams come from Allah, all bad dreams come from the devil. In this dream, Allah shows Muhammad his enemies. But he shows them, his enemies, in a smaller number than they actually are. And in, in, the, uh, in the ayah, Allah says, had he shown Muhammad the number of the enemies in their true number, then him and the believers would have been disheartened. So before we even get to the point where Allah is called the best of deceivers, he already deceives Muhammad because he gives Muhammad a false dream. Compared to when we have, for example, the angel of the Lord appearing to Gideon in the book of Judges, where he promises him victory over his enemies and even reassures him each time he tells him to bring less and less men for the battle until he winds up with only 300. In the Bible, we see God being truthful, but in the Quran, we see God deceiving so that his cowardly prophets and his cowardly believers wouldn't be disheartened. What's going on here? It appears that God is giving false revelation if you go by the Quranic context. Can that happen? Moses, let me know. I would suggest this then, leave that behind, come to Christ who is the truth, who doesn't lie to you. But hey, 
it's up to you. You won't know if you don't read. And you will know you, if you don't read Matthew, Matthew, Luke, and John, then you will not know the person of Christ. The person doesn't lie to you. But instead, all you can go with is what you have. And what you have is not sufficient, in my personal view. But hey, go look it up myself. It's in Surah 8. I think it's verse 40 and verse 17. It's up to you to go and read it if you'd like. But anyway, God bless you and come to Christ. That's all I'll say. Alrighty. Yeah, that's me. Uh, I was talking to somebody. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking. Yeah, huh? uh, if I can, let me look around. Oh, Siraj, how are you, Siraj? Siraj, 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 baby Siraj. Baby Siraj, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Why is Allah a deceiver? Why is Allah a deceiver? Right? Because, because, no, no, no. Siraj, all I want to know is for you to tell me why is Allah himself a deceiver? Because listen, men can be deceivers, right? Men can be deceivers, but why is your God? No, that's not an answer, Siraj. Siraj, what you're doing is a fallacy. Unless you can actually answer my question, you're doing a fallacy. So your the God fallacy is, a is called a Tuko Kwe. Siraj, come back. Siraj, why are you running? If you run, who will defend Allah? Ah, oh, stuck for Allah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. This is what it is. Prophet, like for example, Joseph. No, 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 Mr. Absalom. Mr. Absalom. Historically, we do prophets approve and prostitution? Do they say? I want you to record me, please. Come on. Record me. I don't want to record you, man. Record me, man. Come on. You're an antichrist. I don't want to record you. He's antichrist. You're antichrist. No, no, it doesn't matter. You, you know what it does? I want to record You need to be 50-50 family. Yeah. No, so it, it's all right. No, don't worry. Right? Yeah, I'm so, sorry. Can you prove that Jesus is a prophet? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, also this is no, 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 about Christianity. Don't worry. I'll give you a little runner. I'll show you a little runner. No, 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 I'm sorry. So, we, yeah, we, can, we can move over there if you want. Just, yeah, 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 I'm just recording him, please. He doesn't want to be on camera, please. <laughs> you, you got in my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. You're rooting my way. So move. So, no, when is the So, no, no, no. Are you gay, man? Are you gay, man? So, for example, oh, 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 are we done? All right, no worries. Catch you later. Siraj! 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 Siraj, why are you running? Siraj, you're running. You're right there. All right. What are we doing? Next time, I want him next to time, that come Jesus back to me and then we'll Nothing have a conversation, right? Jesus, which because one? Again, Jesus, again, the Bible is so, not a prophet. Isa is not a prophet. No, he's not while a teacher that, and he's not I a prophet. Isa is not a prophet. Why, prophet. why does today, Allah I'll send be your slave. dreams? Bro, I will no, no, be your slave. I'm, where's Isa? I don't like black slaves. I don't like black slaves. I'm a Muhammad. Jesus called black slaves and don't and Muhammad sold them. So I would rather get called a name than get sold. What did the people of Israel sold? Why did the people of Israel the now, we don't want to share that. When is Surah 8, Siraj? When is Surah 8, Allah Mr. Mr. is the one no, who is sending dreams to Muhammad. Why God of the Bible deceived Jesus? Can you explain Jesus? to me? Thank you. I want Can an you explain to me, Siraj? Why, God of the Bible why is Allah Jesus? sending dreams to Muhammad no with incorrect here. information? No one's Siraj. God does not because know things that are false. Thank you, thank you. Now, now, so now you answer, no, why, answer my how can you support no, somebody no, with no, a lie? Because the surah question. says no, the reason question. he sent it why was so I wouldn't be discouraged. But explain to me, Siraj, explain why God would lie to his prophet. Because now Allah can tell lies. Now, if Allah can tell lies, that means he's not God. Why? Because God only knows the truth. So if Allah can tell a lie, that means 
means he's not God. Now, in the Bible, we say that the father of lies is who? The devil. If Allah is God but can tell lies, he is more in league with the devil than he is anything else. So explain to me why Allah can send false revelation. How do we know that Allah didn't send false revelation to Muhammad, for example? Because he did it in that one instance. What else did he send to Muhammad that was false? How do we know? Maybe the entire Quran potentially could be false. Because unfortunately for you, if you can do it once, what stops him from doing it again? So for example, when he talks about the angels of Allah or the spirits of Allah applying to Mary, how do you know that isn't a lie? In Surah 20, in Surah 28, in Surah 27, when Allah tells the story of Moses with a burning bush, but use a different word in each instance, how do we know that's a lie? For example, in Surah, in, Surah, in, Surah, um, in Surah 18, how do we know that our killer isn't a lie? All right, later. No worries. Siraj, keep coming and you keep running because you have nothing, Siraj. That's fine with me. All righty. Siraj wants to play a game. We'll keep playing his game. Siraj, I will catch you again four more times today and you will run into your individual time because you have no answer to damn coward. Anyway. Uh, people, I was having an afternoon cooking with a, with a, uh, a Muslim girl and then Siraj got in the way. I'm going to try and reconvene it, but then we'll see what happens later. She doesn't want to be on camera, so I won't record it. But let's see if we can reach out midway with her. Thank you. But anyway, that's all. And Siraj will come again and I will chase him away again. And he will come again and I'll chase him away again until I understand why Allah lies. We got one answer, which is that Allah wants to support his prophets. Now, if God wants to support you with lies, is that really God? That's the problem. Because how else do we know what else he was doing that wasn't a lie? See? I think he dropped 50. Uh, Allah deceived you. Yeah. That, that's why you ain't going to your back anymore. Uh, so, uh, why do you accept Allah? Uh, that's my question. You don't have the mind. You don't have the mind. You don't have the mind. You don't Will you Allah that Allah has the ability to tell lies? Siraj, I'm waiting. Are you accepting that Allah has the ability to lie? Because if God can lie, how do you know he can't lie more than once? How do you know that the entire Quran itself is not a lie? If God can lie in one ayah, why can't he lie again in a different ayah? That's the issue. Siraj, I'm still waiting for you. There you go. Siraj, you're going to run from me three more times. Times is your coward. Uh, three more times. Yeah. Three more times. Three more. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm counting it down. Okay, okay. So what was the? Yeah. Uh, Same thing. Okay. If, if Allah can lie, is He gone? That's what I want to know. God only knows truth. God doesn't know falsehood. If it, but, but here's the thing. Siraj. So Siraj is a simple-minded boy, and he keeps revealing small, small things each time we have a conversation. So at first, he's revealed. That Allah lies to encourage his prophets. That's number one. Now, number two, he seems to be accepting the idea that Allah can lie. But he doesn't want to admit it. Why? Why? Because he's pointing to Jesus or pointing to the New Testament and making it seem as though God can lie to make it seem that Christians believe it's about God too. But we don't. So, so far, he's admitted that you can lie in order to A, encourage your prophets, and B, you can actually lie and tell not truth. So, if Allah can do that with one ayah, why can't you do it for the whole Quran? That's what I want to know. But it's okay, I'll find him again, and he'll lie again. That's fine. <laughs> Christians now. Hey, hey, talk to him. Hey, stop being gay now. Stop, stop harassing. Him. Hey, stop harassing me. Hey, hey. Hey, talk to him. You're harassing us. Hey, talk to him. He's praying for you. He's my favorite Muslim in the whole world. Surah is my favorite Muslim. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. Come over here. Come over here. Come on, man. Come on. Respect me. Ah, Surah. You, I can't respect you, Siraj. You're an idiot. <laughs> if you don't respect you, you have to get smarter. Now, why can Allah lie? Come on. Siraj, why, go why can Allah lie? Siraj, why can you answer? Thessalonians, Siraj, chapter that's 2, verse answer. 11. I will Siraj, play the game now. Two the game. Thessalonians, Siraj, why does Allah two, have the ability 11. to lie? God if sent somebody lies, Allah, Allah, they cannot so be God. Can Explain to me why Allah Jesus can lie. Allah knows things that are falsehood. So that means that when Allah says he's al haq he can't be al haq because he's lying. So please explain to me why Allah can lie. Testament. 
and what he quoted from so the Old Testament. So why can he lie? Because technically, valid in the Old Testament. Howdy. God of the so, Bible guys, said, Deuteronomy so, so, chapter 18, verse 22, chapter 14, verse 9. Can lie. Even prophet That's what I want to know. Because if Allah can lie, that then means that he is the devil. Why? Because only the devil can lie. So Siraj, in Surah 8, why does Allah send false priests to Muhammad? I am still waiting for you. Tell me why. Because ultimately for me, if, the, if Allah is sending false revelation, how do we know that the satanic verses were not so false? How do we also know that the Quran is false? false because Siraj over here Lord thinks Bible, that Allah can lie. Now, if Allah cannot lie, Siraj, you need to explain to me why he sends Muhammad false to the dream. You said two things so far. I the first thing you said that was that he lied Jesus to Muhammad so that he could fulfill his battle. My now, why couldn't Allah just encourage Muhammad by telling him the, the truth. Father was For example, not in the book of Jesus. Judges, That's you see Jesus Muhammad telling, was, you see a, a, a God Jesus. telling Gideon the he truth was given that false if he messages. goes against the Philistines, so Jesus is he will be victorious. So God. why can't you explain God to me, Siraj, why God Allah can lie? I am still waiting for you, so Siraj. If you can explain it to me, then that will be great. But unfortunately for you, all I can see is that Allah lies and you lie. So ultimately, you are following a liar. Now, if you are following a liar, you are following the devil. Now, if that is the remember why, Allah also but says that he, if you forget, remember, wrong. he will send devils Dude after you so that they will lead you in the wrong way. You would think you're on the right way, but actually you're on the wrong way. So all I'm seeing here is that Allah does the job of bliss. No, no, no. You're good. You're not here. I'm going to run. So, Siraj, Siraj. So now, Siraj, what I can see is that unfortunately for you, Allah is doing the work of bliss. So I would like to know why Allah does the things that bliss does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if a no, no. Lies, why is Allah Jesus lying? Hey, yeah. Why is Allah lying? If Allah is God, why is he lying? So Raj, again, if Allah is God, why can he lie? If Allah is God, he cannot know anything that is false. Why can so we why not go where swines no and dogs are? Because falsehood the Bible is actually swines information. Falsehood just means things that are not true. So why does Allah know things that are not true? So Raj, again, if Allah knows Chapter things that are not true, then that would mean that he can't be God. So if Allah truly Isaiah, is God, why does he know false truth? Why does he do the things that are not true? Jesus said, do not go where swine and dogs are. Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are not true? Why does he do the things that are
maybe he what you have done said, is forgotten the words of Allah. So now Allah he is said, is my Allah is a deceiver. So no, don't worry, he's in God. I go along with he can. So Allah, for example, is telling you things that are false. So how do you know that the entire Quran isn't false? For example, the verses of Satan verses when Muhammad said that you should bow down or accept the obligation of Allah Manat and Al Uzza. How do you know that that was still said by Allah? But it was still said by Allah. No, 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 no. John I, he, chapter 16. How do you know instead that Allah is not the one who sent Muhammad that revelation? How can you be sure that supposedly that is supposed to be from the devil? Because it appears that Allah and the devil are one. So Allah does the same thing as the devil does. That's why I want to know. Explain to me why Allah does the things of the devil. Why does he know things that are false? And why does he say things that are false? That's what I'm waiting for you to write. Explain to me why Allah can say both things, do both things. And no false message. things because it appears that Muhammad himself was doing the false message. So, does that mean that Allah deceived Muhammad with the satanic verses and all the revelation? That's what I'm still waiting for. I'm still waiting for uh, so uh, explain why Allah knows false things because now he is giving Muhammad false revelation. So, therefore, Muhammad, everything he said could be false. So, how will you be able to determine what is false and what isn't false? What principles do you have to prove that? The things so that Muhammad breast, said is breast. not false. The Bible says so uh, you believe that you can breast. suck people's breasts if their husbands allow you. So please allow, uh, allow me, right? That's the issue. The so Siraj, so when you get married and I come over to your house, are you going to give me your wife to suck? That's the issue. So again, Siraj, the problem would be that would be your wife. But Siraj, according to you, you're allowed to give it to someone else. So that's the issue. I do believe also it talks about the idea. No, Siraj, you're not done yet. Siraj, again. I'm still waiting for you, Siraj. Answer the question. Why? Why? No worries. No worries. Why can Allah lie? I am still waiting for you, Siraj. Why can Allah lie? Siraj, I am waiting for you to explain to me why Allah can lie. Because of my understanding, for example, how do you know that your entire chances of heaven is not just a lie? How do you know that you actually get, supposedly, how do you actually get bribes in heaven, right? That's the issue. Because Allah can be lying to you. Before That's the issue. John, How can you determine that Allah can lie? If you can lie the once, liar. then you can lie more than once. How do you know that your entire process of heaven is going to be a lie? Because from what I understand, Muhammad most of these at the least of you in heaven will have at least 72 virgins. Can you explain to me how you are aware? Even in the Quran, it mentions the idea of the Hurin. Yes, Lord. I am still waiting for you, Surah. Surah, I'm still waiting for you. Can you explain to me why exactly Allah knows lies because lies are not the truth and if Allah knows lies Siraj that would mean that he knows false things can you explain why Allah knows false things Siraj I'm going explain to explain that with to me. me that's right go 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 explain to me why he knows false things Siraj I'm waiting for you Siraj Siraj Siraj, when you come back why does Allah know falsehood Siraj why does it not know falsehood? I'm going to pray okay. and then come Maybe back. Okay, you run. Come back. Go ahead and run, right? But once you come out, Siraj, once I smell you, Siraj, I'll get you back, okay? No worries. No worries, Siraj. Damn coward. Okay, anyway. Yo. It, 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 it's the same thing there. It's the same thing there. So, Allah is still lying, but Siraj seems to accept the fact that God can lie. So what he then tries to do to defend the fact that Allah lies okay. is by going to some verses in the Bible where because he can't read, he thinks God is lying. Okay. So effectively, what he's trying to do is call it two away fallacy or whataboutism. Okay. He is essentially saying, so what if Allah lies? According to my understanding in the Bible, God also lies, so therefore it's okay. But unfortunately, God is the truth and he knows no lies. So if Allah is al-Haq, how can he lie? That's the issue. Contradiction. That's the issue. That's, That's the, the issue. issue. No worries. I like these scrappy. Scraps? Going for a scooby snack and then he calls it prayer. Yeah, Borat. Borat. Lami. Ah, Lami. Lami, where are you going? Lami, where are you going? Lami, where are you going?
Lemon. I love curiosity. Very important debate today. There's a problem no, no that I you. see. I want um, all of you to come. Allah can lie. Let me see. Let me. Do, do you believe that? <laughs> you are lying. This one. But uh, Allah can lie too. I'm talking to you. Allah, Allah can what? Allah can lie. So, um, uh, so it, uh, it's in Surah 843. Okay. It says, um, when Allah. So in, in brackets, so it's not actually there. In brackets, remember, O oh Allah. In brackets, when. Uh, sorry, <laughs> my bad, Muhammad. So this is in brackets, right? Bracket. Remember, O Muhammad. Bracket closed. When Allah showed them to you in your dream as few, and if He had shown them to you as many, you, in brackets, the believers, would have lost courage and would have disputed in the matter, in brackets, of whether to fight. But Allah saved you. In brackets, you from that. Indeed, he is the knowing of that within the beasts. Now, if Allah is knowing and has knowledge, falsehood doesn't count as knowledge. Only things that are true count as knowledge. Now, Allah shows the enemies to Muhammad in the dream as few. Because if he has shown them in the actual number, they would have been disheartened. That's right. Is that a is that a truth or a lie? For example, yes. if somebody is afraid of heights, yes. and I want them to go bungee jumping with me, ah, okay, okay. and I tell them, oh, don't worry, it's, about, it's not that high. <laughs> it's, only, it's, only, it's only about, you know, five feet, <laughs> but actually it's 500 feet. <laughs> have I lied to them? Yes. Or have I told them the truth? Liar, liar. So the problem remains, yeah. if you can lie once, why not again, right. and again, and, and again, again, across 114 surahs? Correct. So, okay, so that's why Muslims are confused because Allah Surah 8, verse 43. Allah said, see, al Al-Makarin. al and, and by the way, it's in the same, uh, this, this, uh, this ayah is in the same verse. It's in the okay. same idea. Uh, the idea of Allah be, or they plan, but Allah is the best of plans or deceivers. It's in the same surah. So the surah seems to be talking about deception. That's the issue. Hey, okay. Arabic, I would not have. Mr. Arabic no translator, I would have. Out, how do we know which one is true? And how do we know what else is occurring? Absolutely. So, what I'm seeing here is a contradiction. Against the one. Shut up, you'll learn a single two. What I would, what I would not have. How can they both be true? It's a literal contradiction. So, apparently, apparently, Muhammad was revealing things in a manner that was contradictory. No, right? So can you explain to me why Allah is again giving contradictory revelation? How can he? What's the simple? It says here, would not have informed you. Answer, answer my question. It says, would have informed you. Right? Wait, 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 wait,